Hello, I'm Dave Corbassier. Right now on your 13 Action News update, giving respect to those who serve. Some local military families got a chance to see some of their favorite Raiders in person. A few dozen people, all from Nellis and Creech Air Force bases, visited Allegiant Stadium today, and they got a chance to meet and hear from Raiders tight end Darren Waller and defensive end Cleland Farrell. Both of these players have family members who served in the military, so it was all part of the USAA's partnership with the NFL. Well, it's a gaming win for Nevada this past month. The Nevada Gaming Control Board reported more than a billion dollars in winnings for the month of March. That's more than 26% of an increase compared to March of last year. Last month, the strip alone brought in a little more than $740 million, and the downtown area reported right around $86 million. City of Las Vegas and Metro getting together for a dog event. The Paws with Patrol Doggy Days will be at Bruce Trent Parks near Vegas Drive and Rampart Boulevard. The event will feature food trucks, dog adoptions, and pet-friendly activities. Folks can also take pictures with McGruff, the crime dog. The event will be this Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. I'm meteorologist Danny Beckstrom on this very windy and warm Thursday. Our gust speeds close to 40 miles per hour until the sun sets. After that, we'll calm down. Looking at the out the door forecast for the remainder of your Thursday night, we hang on to the 80s through 5 or 6, dropping into the 70s by 7 or 8. That's when our wind speeds will start to trend the right direction. A breeze is going to linger with us as we head overnight into Friday morning, but our gust speeds should be capped near 25 miles per hour Friday. So although it is still breezy, much calmer than what we're dealing with Thursday evening. Temperatures top out near normal in the low 80s on Friday under a sunny skies with that breeze. On Saturday, we calm the wind speed as temperatures warm. Our highs jump near 90 under a sunny sky. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.